I want to bring on our first guest to talk a little about the show. The woman playing Hannah Senish is Lexi Rabatti. She's an actor and singer based out of here in the city, originally from Albany, New York, a proud graduate of Pace University with a degree in musical theater. And she began her professional career at a number of regional theaters. This summer, she's making her off-Broadway debut in Hannah Senish. Lexi, welcome to WBAI. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me. So for our listeners, who is Hannah Senish? Yes, Hannah Senish is an amazing young woman who grew up in Hungary during the rising tensions of World War II. There, of course, she experienced some anti-Semitism, which sort of launched her into becoming enamored by the Zionist movement where she wanted to move to Palestine to work for the state and create a Jewish homeland. Um, And she did do that for quite some time. But as the war began to rise and Hitler's power began to rise, she wondered if there was more she could do. And there she heard about a very exclusive and quite dangerous mission um, to go undercover as a British partisan and parachute behind Nazi lines to rescue Jews out of Eastern Europe on the eve of the Holocaust. So it's a pretty amazing story. She was a really courageous and inspiring young woman. And why is her story relevant today? Well, I was just tuned in and listening to you talk about these um, heartbreaking and, and horrible stories that are happening just last night and this morning that the world is grieving over. And it's for reasons like this, unfortunately, that... Hannah's story is relevant today and will continue to be relevant as long as there are oppressed peoples, as there's powers of hatred in this world, and as long as people who are different feel they don't have a place um, in, in their home country in this world. And so Hannah's story is an amazing one because I think so many people today are seeking inspiration to raise their voice and resist these powers of hatred that we see all too common nowadays. And um, Hannah serves as that source of inspiration. And she proves to us all that even one individual, you know, so many of us today say, well, what can I do about it? And Hannah proves that you can do so much just by transforming your will into a call to action, not necessarily without fear, but without hesitation to do the right thing. And this uh, play was uh, drawn from her diaries. What are some of the things we learn about Hannah through her diaries? Yes. What I love so much about this play is that whether you've heard of Hannah or not, um, you look at what the play is about and you see, oh, this heroic, brave, amazing, courageous woman. And it's true. All of those things, of course, are very true. Um, But what you don't from all of these amazing articles about Hannah is her heart and her mind, her amazing mind and her spirit. And so throughout the course of the play, we get to see Hannah from age 13 up until the end of her very short life at 22. And so we learn that she was kind of this privileged, very cultured, very assimilated young schoolgirl in Hungary, worrying about boys and dresses and... Um, all of these kind of seemingly frivolous things that what I love about Hannah is even then she's aware that they're frivolous. She's always equipped with this amazing self-awareness and her relation to humanity is uh, at the forefront of her mind. So I love that we learn so much about Hannah before she gets this flame ignited in her, um, which is that her mission. And I noted that this is being presented by National Yiddish Theater. Folks, Bina, this show is in English, not in Yiddish. How did you prepare for this part? Yes, well, um, it is a one-woman show, which is unlike anything I have ever done. (laughs) Um, So I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. So I got a little nerdy in my preparation. And before even our first day of rehearsal, I had the whole script memorized, um, which wasn't hard to do because I related so much to Hannah as I read her diary and her script. So I took a great deal of time to make sure I was prepared in that way and also just to make sure that I dove into the dramaturgical aspects of the piece, the world around Hannah as it was seemingly falling apart, 
um, making sure I was aware of um, the culture of the times and the place and the faith and culture that she practiced. Um, I was able to get my hands on an amazing published copy that anybody could get their hands on if you're interested of her diary. But it's also a compilation of letters she wrote to and from her mother and her brother, as well as firsthand accounts with people who were on the mission with her, which is kind of incredible. Um, so I had a lot of great source material and, of course, the amazing team, um, my amazing writer and director, David, and our incredible little family. Really, I couldn't have done it without them. Um, helped me to prepare for this incredible undertaking. And, uh, and I've talked with the director, David Schechter, about this as well. And, you know, it really fits into uh, Yiddish theater, Folks Bina's entire season, which is about spiritual resistance. Can you talk a little about that? Yes, I love the theme for this season of spiritual resistance. I think it's just beautiful vocabulary, and it's exactly what Hannah was able to do. She is a universal resistance icon, right? And although, like I said, it seems a little overwhelming, um, you're thinking, oh, I could never do that. I could never be like that. But what I love about our piece is that I think it's inspiring and a call to action for our audience members to say, hey, you can engage in spiritual resistance in your own way as well, whether it be taking on an incredibly dangerous mission like Hannah did, or just writing a poem about something that matters to you in the world and sharing it, also like Hannah got to do. Um, I think it's kind of amazing. And the season coming up after the show, they've got everything from staged readings to full-fledged productions to contemporary comedies and even the very first Yiddish uh, piece that was produced in America. So there's certainly something for everybody all having to do with this amazing theme of spiritual resistance. So you're sure to be left talking about it on your way home after you see any of these amazing pieces. So audience uh, members are obviously discovering you for the first time. I gave a synopsis of your bio. Can you just uh, tell us a little more about you? Yeah. Um, well, I heard you mentioned I'm from upstate New York, and I went to Pace University. So I've been in the city for a few years. Um but, you know, the actor's life is notoriously a difficult one. I've been very lucky getting to work at a number of awesome, uh, reputable regional theaters that kind of took me all over the country, which I'm so grateful for. But it's really nice to be home in my home city working on a show I absolutely love. Um, I live in Harlem. I am really enjoying this summer working in the city with my boyfriend, and, and you know what, also, I do want to point out one thing that uh, the artistic director, Zalman Milatek, had mentioned is you're playing this role, uh, but you're not Jewish. Correct. Yeah, I'm not Jewish, although my father is, um, he's an immigrant from Jordan in the Middle East, which of course is nowhere near the same thing. And while I could never claim to know the Jewish experience, although I've done so much research and um, reading up on it, and like I said, my amazing team has been so supportive. This sort of Jewish family I feel I've been adopted into, I'm so lucky, and I've been so welcomed by them. Um, but I do understand what it's like to relate to roots of otherness, and I am a proud example of the fruits of immigration in our country, and um, as a representative of diversity in the theater. So that's a one way I get to relate to Hannah. So we've got just about a minute left. How can people find out more about you? Well, you can go to my website. It's just my first and last name, LexiRabadi.com. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, and it's all the same thing, first and last name, Lexi Rabadi. Lexi, thank you so much for joining me here on WBAI today. Thank you so much for having me, Jeff. It was lovely. So uh, if you want to learn more about the show and about Lexi, you also can go to Folks Bina's website at nytf.org.